someone needs to stop this. The FAA seems to be finding every possible reason to prevent Starship and Falcon 9 from launching, and the more they do, the more their reasons appear absurd. Most recently, the upgraded heat shield by SpaceX has become the latest justification for the agency's delays. As for Falcon 9, despite the success of Crew 9, it too is facing unnecessary delays. How frustrating. Let's dive into the details in today's episode of Great SpaceX. The FAA's delay of Starship's Flight 5 has recently sparked heated debate in the aerospace industry. The agency has consistently cited safety as the main reason for its actions. Specifically, the delay is attributed to SpaceX's frequent modifications to the Starship mission, which the FAA claims require a new license. For Flight 5, the primary concern centers on the unprecedented task of catching the Super Heavy Booster using the Mechazilla arm. While discussions over these points continue, the FAA recently introduced another surprising argument, this time regarding the heat shield on Starship S-30. The agency stated, The FAA requires a license modification if an operator proposes a change that is material to public safety. A change is material to public safety if it alters or affects the following. Class of payload, type of launch or re-entry vehicle, type or quantity of hazardous material, flight trajectory, launch site or re-entry site, or other landing site, or any system, policy, procedure, requirement, criteria, or standard that is safety critical. They further elaborated on Starship noting, a proposal to conduct a return to launch site for the booster if the FAA has not previously evaluated and authorized it for prior flights, is a change that is material to public safety. A change of a vehicle's thermal protection system may be a material change if the TPS is a safety critical system or component that could affect public safety. This concern over the heat shield seems, frankly, absurd. The FAA likely flagged the issue due to SpaceX's changes to the heat shield on S-30 following problems observed with S-29. SpaceX replaced the entire heat shield, with Elon Musk revealing that the new version would be twice as strong. However, SpaceX has not provided details on how the tiles were upgraded, which is understandable given that it's part of their proprietary development process. Unfortunately, the FAA has used this lack of disclosure to claim concerns over for public safety. These arguments are clearly unconvincing for several reasons. First, SpaceX made these upgrades because the previous heat shield had issues, resulting in the forward flap of Starship being scorched during re-entry. Although the vehicle successfully landed in the ocean, the goal was to achieve a fully intact landing, which necessitated improvements. The idea that SpaceX should report this to the FAA or continue using the problematic heat shield seems unreasonable. Secondly, despite the changes to the heat shield, the re-entry procedures for Starship have remained consistent with those of previous flights. This makes the FAA's concerns seem contradictory especially given their earlier arguments related to the Super Heavy mission. If the overall flight and re-entry processes remain unchanged, it's difficult to see how the updated heat shield poses a new risk. Furthermore, SpaceX carefully plans and executes each flight and landing with extensive pre-warnings in place for the areas over which Starship travels. Most of these areas are uninhabited, minimizing any potential threat to public safety. Therefore, the notion that the upgraded heat shield could cause harm seems unfounded, further weakening the FAA's argument. The FAA's reasoning appears increasingly ineffective and at times inconsistent. In a recent hearing, FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker attempted to justify the agency's decisions, but his responses left many unconvinced. He struggled to articulate the rationale behind the delays, and his suggestion that SpaceX should follow Boeing's safety practices was met with skepticism, especially considering Boeing's well-documented safety issues. Elon Musk responded bluntly with, he needs to resign, in response to the comment. Beyond the heat shield, this issue sets a worrying precedent for future delays. The FAA's focus on such specific changes could pave the way for even more slowdowns in the future. Another part of Starship that may come under scrutiny is the Raptor engine, which has drawn attention after several more were recovered from the Gulf of Mexico following a recent test flight. Images revealed that some of these engines were visibly deformed, likely due to in-flight impacts. The Raptor engines will be crucial for SpaceX's next major task, 
catching the super heavy booster with the Mechazilla arm. However, the FAA has raised concerns about this complex mission, and issues with the recovered engines may give them more reasons to delay progress. If this continues, it could disrupt SpaceX's timeline, impacting key milestones like NASA's Artemis program and the return to the moon. The FAA's cautious approach while prioritizing safety risks slowing U.S. leadership in space exploration, especially as countries like China make rapid advancements. A better regulatory balance is needed to maintain the U.S.'s competitive edge. At this point, SpaceX's most pragmatic approach is to concentrate on refining its hardware and launch systems while anticipating the broader regulatory shifts that might eventually streamline operations. The company has proven its resilience, but ongoing delays from regulatory bodies like the FAA continue to challenge its progress. What do you think about the FAA's concerns over the heat shield? Is it time for these constant delays to be eliminated? If you agree, reply yes in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on SpaceX's relentless journey towards space innovation. The regulatory delays aren't exclusive to Starship. As expected, Falcon 9 is facing similar hurdles, compounding the frustration. The recent Crew-9 mission was a clear success. Dragon flawlessly delivered two astronauts to the ISS, however, a complication arose with Falcon 9's second stage, which landed outside its designated area. Though the stage landed safely in the remote South Pacific, Far from populated regions and without causing any harm, the FAA still initiated an investigation. The FAA's recent statement sheds light on the issue. The FAA is aware of an anomaly during the SpaceX NASA Crew-9 mission. The incident involved the Falcon 9 second stage landing outside the designated hazard area. No public injuries or public property damage have been reported. The FAA is requiring an investigation. Even though the FAA openly admits that no public harm or property damage occurred, they are still moving forward with a formal investigation. This incident marks the third consecutive month that Falcon 9 missions have been delayed due to FAA interventions. While it's important to ensure safety and address recurrent issues, the fact remains that SpaceX is already taking proactive steps to resolve any anomalies, having paused operations themselves after the most recent incident. However, these investigations and delays are becoming an overbearing hurdle. If public safety isn't at risk, it stands to reason that operations could proceed while investigations are conducted in parallel. Yet, with the FAA's heavy-handed approach, SpaceX is being forced to wait, causing significant slowdowns in progress. The question remains, how long can this regulatory friction continue before it starts to hinder not only SpaceX's innovations, but also broader advancements in space exploration? Similar to the previous two delays, this incident did not affect the mission's primary goal of deploying the payload. Given this, it's hard to understand why the FAA continues to intervene and halt operations. While it's unclear how long this delay will last, it will undoubtedly impact several upcoming schedules. At the beginning of October, SpaceX is set to launch one web satellites with Falcon 9 and the Europa Clipper mission with Falcon Heavy. If this delay drags on like the one in July, these critical missions could be affected. In terms of overall progress, if it weren't for the FAA's interventions, SpaceX might have already reached 100 launches this year. However, the pace has slowed and the company has only managed 93 Falcon 9 flights after the Crew-9 mission. The goal of achieving 148 launches this year seems to be slipping further away while the FAA's involvement continues to delay operations. There is hope that this delay can be resolved, especially since it is connected to NASA. On that note, we can look at the case of Boeing's Starliner. Despite several issues during testing, launches, docking at the ISS, and returning, the FAA did not obstruct Starliner's progress. SpaceX is set to conduct an ISS cargo supply mission this October, and ongoing delays could disrupt critical operations. NASA must protect its launch provider to safeguard its objectives and U.S. space leadership, making reforms essential for the future of the space program. For at least the next few years, Falcon 9 will remain NASA's primary vehicle for space activities, especially given the ongoing challenges with Starliner. With less than two years until the Starship mission to return humans to the moon, 
moon, frequent launches are crucial for establishing reliability. Meanwhile, China's rapid advancements, such as reaching the far side of the moon, collecting samples, and planning human landings are intensified by the FAA's delays, which risk allowing them to catch up and potentially surpass the US. The FAA's unnecessary delays shouldn't be the reason US be the reason the US loses its lead in the space race. We still have the advantage and our experience is unmatched. The key to maintaining this lead is removing the barriers that are slowing us down. I believe many organizations and individuals recognize this and will take action soon. Reform or be eliminated. Perhaps the time has come for the FAA to make its choice. Well folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. And as always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.